Hi everyone, it's Mrs Tiswell West here. I hope you're all well and are staying safe at home. I just thought today that I would read you a story and you might have noticed that we have someone in the background who has joined us and this is because she is the star of our story today. So our story is what the ladybird heard at the seaside. And this story is by Julia Donaldson and she's wrote other stories like The Gruffalo, uh, Zog, Stickman, lo lots of others. So let's see what's going to happen in this story. One July, when the sun was high, the ladybird took to the clear blue sky. She spread her wings in the summer breeze and flew over farms and fields and trees. She flew and she flew as fast as could be, till at last she came to the, to the deep salt sea. And the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked, the mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked, the crab went snap and the shark went gnash, the whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. The dogfish barked and the catfish purred, but the ladybird said never a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a camper van with swimming trunks and a cunning plan. They were Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, and up to their wicked ways again. Said Lanky Len to Hefty Hugh, I tell you what we're going to do. We'll lie in wait till it's twelve o'clock, then out we'll swim to the mermaid's rock. The mermaid's hair is very long, she combs it while she sings her song. But when it's night and she's fast asleep, then d -d onto her rock we'll creep and snip, snip, snip. We'll cut that hair. So very long and very fair, that's not kind at all. Said Hefty Hugh to Lanky Len, we'll make a lovely wig and then we'll sell it to a famous star. What brilliant brainy blokes we are. The mermaid's hair will soon grow back, enough to fill another sack. We'll keep on doing it forever, we've hit on something really clever. The little spotty ladybird, who hardly ever spoke a word, told the animals what she had heard. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked, the mermaid wailed and the dolphin squeaked, the crab went snap and the shark went gnash and the whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. And the fish declared, that wicked pair, we can't let them steal the mermaid's hair. The ladybird had a good idea and she whispered it into every ear. And she's going, she's going to see all the animals, tell her, her good idea, tell them her good idea. Then the seagull gave a joyful shriek and he fetched some seaweed in his beak. And as the sky was turning red, he dropped it onto the sea lion's head. Then as the sky was turning black, the sea lion climbed and the whales humped back. I wonder what's going to happen next. The clock struck twelve and the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, flipped flapped down to the salty sea. It was cold and dark but they laughed with glee. Then the whale began to sing a song. That's her, said Hugh. We can't go wrong. They swam towards the tuneful sound. She's still awake, said Len and frowned. The singing stopped and took a peep. Said Hugh, I think she's gone to sleep. Up they climbed with their big brown sack onto the whale's enormous back and snip, 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 they started snipping. This hair 
said Hugh. It's damp and dripping. What's more, said Len, it's awfully tough. Our scissors can't be sharp enough. Then help, cried Hugh. This rock is heaving. I think we'd better both be leaving. But Len replied, just one more snip. Then the whale's grey tail gave a great big flip. Uh-oh. The thieves fell into the water, splosh. And Hugh said golly, and Len said gosh. Then ouch, cried Hugh, and Len yelled no, as the shark bit a flipper and the crab pinched the toe. They swam for their lives and then they ran all the way back to their camper van. Phew, said Hugh, we've had a scare but at least we've got the mermaid's hair. They opened up the sack and then It's full of seaweed, shouted Len, and tricked again, said the two bad men. Then the sea lion roared, and the seagull shrieked, the mermaid sang, and the dolphin squeaked, the crab went snap, and the shark went gnash, the whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. The dogfish barked, and the catfish purred, but the ladybird said, Never a word. She is. She did have a great idea, didn't she? And that's the end of our story. Hope you've enjoyed that. I know that I did. And I can't wait to see you guys again. I know we've all really missed you. So, bye guys.